because God told me to tell you. Not everything that God, that people say God told them, is not from God. Amen. 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 Don't believe everything you hear just because someone, just because someone, just because someone says a message from God. Now, this is what it says. Test it first to see if it really is. And there, there's, there's two times amen, that I've learned that, that God tells you to test him. One time, the first one is, amen, from Malachi, God tells you, amen, about your tithe and your offering, God tells you to test him, prove me, he says. Yeah. And sing one over the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. So if you give your tithe, you worship God in your tithe, 10% of what you earn, the full 10% of what you earn, somebody say amen. amen. And then you are a freely loving giver, somebody say amen. amen. God says, I'll pour you out of heaven, I'll open the windows and I'll just pour you out blessings. He said, try me in this. But now we see here again in 1 John 4, 1, at the end of that verse, amen, when, when John uh, told the people, don't believe everybody who come and tell you that the message of God said, test it. Uh -huh. So I say amen. amen. And a lot of us, amen, how many of y'all ever remember you telling yourself, I wish I believed my first mind? How many of y'all say that? Now, some of y'all are not going to say that, but us older, older ones, the more mature people, we say that, don't we? Yes. I sure would not believe. I would still my first mind. Amen. That's right. Have you ever, some of you young people know that sometimes when people are telling you stuff, you know that something funny about that stuff, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. So, so God is telling you here, God is telling you here, test it first and see if it really is God. Amen. John 7 Chapter verse 17 says, Jesus, this is Jesus talk. Jesus says, anyone who wants to do God's will, he can do three things. How many, first of all, how many in this house want to do God's will? Yeah. Uh, if you don't want to do God's will, I'm coming to pray for you. You're going to lift those hands. <laughs> uh, there you go. All right. Sometimes I don't want you to pray for me. All right. But anyway, I'm not trying to escape. But I want you to, amen. I want you to be able to know in your heart that you wouldn't want to do God's will. So, so, so John said in John 7 chapter verse 17, Jesus is talking, he says, anyone who wants to do God's will, I'm going to tell you three things to do. So he said, you can't test his teaching. If you want to do God's will, you can test his teaching. Mm -hmm. This is Jesus talking. The second thing he said in that verse, he says, to no other is from God. Somebody say amen. Yeah. And lastly, whether I'm making it up. Wow, isn't Jesus, isn't, see Jesus, amen, he knew who he was. Yes. And whenever you know who you are, somebody say amen, amen. or whenever you are sure of who's talking to you or told you something, you can speak the comments, am I right? Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. If, if your mom or dad tell you something, uh -huh. amen, to somebody prove that it's wrong, you will believe it, don't you? Amen. You see little kids, little kids say stuff like this, my mama told me. That's right. But that ain't right. Now, I don't care what you say. My mama told. Right. Am I telling the truth? Yeah. Right. Amen. Because they believe in the source. Hey, I see some of my sisters, Scott, you don't tell about it right. They believe in the source, which is our mom or dad, yeah. to be truthful. Is it not? Yeah. Right. Somebody say amen. Yeah. And I don't care what you tell that child. They're going to stand firm on what the mom or dad told them. Right. Somebody say amen. amen. That ain't what my mama told me. Amen. 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 So Jesus said, you can test my teaching. And you will know whether it's from God or if I made it up. All right. And you got to be a bad person to know what you're talking about. Amen. To stand before somebody and go, test if you want to. I know what I'm talking about. Test it. Amen. Don't you feel good when somebody try you and then you go, see, I told you. Now, come on now, look at me. Y'all know. See, see y'all think the word of God is deep and it's real spiritual, right? But you do it all the time, don't you? Amen. Go ahead, try. I'm telling you, amen. If you don't fit this way, I'm telling you, they're gonna come out right. Uh-huh. And when they don't do it, say, what's the first thing you say? Did I tell you? Amen. I told you it wasn't gonna work. Amen. Now go back and do the way I told you. Amen. Now, so Jesus said, Amen, you can test what I'm teaching and you're going to know whether it's from God right. or whether you're making it up. Uh -huh. 
And you need to understand that because a lot of times people are saying that God is talking to them. But now today, today time frame, in many churches, a lot of people want to be a prophet. Y'all know what I said here? They want to be a prophet. Someone say amen? Because they feel a prophet has authority and power and there's a position in there that give you power, can give you respect. Somebody say amen. amen. And a lot of times prophets get mad when you want to test them. Now, if Jesus didn't tell you to test me, then prophet, prophetess, why you can't handle me testing you? Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, you are a doubter. You are a believer. The blood of Jesus. No, 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 no. It don't work here, brother, because I just found out in the word of God that I got a right to test you. Whatever you say to me, you speak to me that God says something, I got a right to test it. And I'm going to show you in the scripture here, in this word of God, amen, how you to test what people say to you. So I'm going to say amen. amen. Now, listen, let me ask you young people. You young people, amen. A, B, all those students, amen. Let me ask y'all a question. Doesn't it make you mad when, when it just give you a test that you ain't studied for? Amen. That they are not going over? Yeah. What's the first thing you say you can test? Wait a minute, you go, we ain't going over this. So I say amen. amen. And some of y'all will get mad and won't do it, you'll throw it away. And then if she tell you, well, that's your brain, I don't care what you say. You'll be like, oh, I, I don't think so. <laughs> Somebody say amen. amen. So, 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 so God, is, and see, God is not like man. See, God said you can test me, but I'm going to tell you how. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. amen. And don't you just love teachers that give you a test and they'll give you all the answers? You're going to get the test and go like, this is so easy. I know I got to off this. So this is the same principle here in the church. Jesus said, I want you to get straight A's here. I want you to pass this test. I want you to know that it was me that spoke to you. Amen. Even though I spoke to somebody else or through a dream or through a vision or through something that you heard or read, God I want you to know that it's me giving you the answer. Amen. 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 All right. So number one, how do you test an impression or something somebody said to you or something you dream or, or have a vision of? How do you test that it's of God? Number one, does it agree with the Bible? What did I say? Does it agree with the Bible? Does it agree with the Bible? So I say amen. amen. Now, you don't pay no tithes, but here comes somebody tell you, that, uh, I'm just using for example, Josh. You pay no tithes, here comes some product. God want to give you a million dollars. And you go hoop and holler, a million dollars! <laughs> but you ain't gave God nothing mm, in tithe or in offerings. Mm. You won't give anything to God. What are you shouting about? Amen. You go dance up and down the church, turn on pews, jumping over chairs, about to kill your food self, right? And nothing is going to happen. Yes. Because it doesn't agree with the Bible. Yes. So I say amen. amen. So if they if they were a fake attire like Pastor Jones, and, and, the, and the prophet said to Pastor Jones, amen, because of your faithfulness and tithe and offering, you will receive that new house you spoke of. Amen. So I say amen. amen. Now, I'm going to be a prophet, but I can tell her, because, amen, you pay your tithe, you give offering, you support the ministry, praise God, you have a right to receive the very best that God has for you. Amen. amen. See, in agreeing with the Bible, amen, that she can have a new house because she gives, uh, she works with God in tithe, she gives her offering, she supports the ministry through her talent and her gifts, even her and her family. So I say, amen. amen. She and are calling unto the Lord. Therefore, praise God, amen, she got a right, amen, to receive her new house. Because you know why? It agrees with the Bible. Y'all receive that? Amen. Give God a big old hand praise. Isn't that simple? Yeah. Amen. Luke 21, 33 says, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus talks, says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. A lot of things are decaying and going by and changing, but God's word is still the same. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. We see in Galatians 1 and 8 says, Galatians 1 and 8 says, this is Paul talking to the church. Paul said, let God's curse fall on anyone, yeah. including myself, who preach any other message, 
even if an angel comes from heaven and preach any other message, let him be forever cursed. Yes. Paul said to, to Paul said to the church, Paul said, if I change my message yes. about Jesus Christ and his goodness and all his promises that he has for me, the life that I must live a holiness, say if I change my message, yes. uh -huh. said, let me be a curse. Uh -huh. Amen. Right. Then if an angel come in, 